up guys, Kevin here, uh, back with another video. Today I'm gonna be doing just a quick video review of a pair of older sneakers. Um, I promised that I would uh, do like a quick like overview of the sneaker just because there really aren't that many videos on them. There's only a handful. And even the ones that are out there aren't that great. And I hope to shed some light on some of my favorite pair of dunks. Uh, so I know that right now um, the Nike Dunk isn't really the most hype or most popular um, sneaker, especially within like the sneaker community. I think everybody has a bit of fatigue over it just because of the constant onslaught of seeing it, um, seeing people have it, wear it, you know, the Panda Dunk epidemic. Uh, but I hope today that to maybe reintroduce or reinvigorate some interest in the Nike Dunk. Um, so the collaboration that I'm going to be talking about today is with a Korean brand called uh, like Kasina or uh, like Kasina or like Kasina, like whichever, I guess, pronunciation that you want to say it. It is a South Korean uh, streetwear brand uh, started by a previous pro skater. Um, he grew up in Busan, which is the southern eastern region. So there's a lot of history between Seoul and Busan. Um, and this collaboration kind of shines light on that. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I'll talk about the shoes and the brand a little bit more. But I'm here to talk about their first collaboration with Nike, which is on the Dunk Low. This was, I believe, a few years ago. Um, I had... I got the industrial blue, which is this one. This one was an Asia exclusive. So uh, this released uh, in, I believe, Japan, China, Korea, and a few other Asian retailers and Asian stockists, uh, but this never made it to stateside. Um, and then I'm also gonna be talking about the Neptune green pair, which if I remember correctly, this was a Korea exclusive. Um, and then there are um, like Kashina special box versions that I don't have, but I do have both colorways of their Dunk Low. First off, let me show you guys. Let me take these guys out and show you guys the most exciting part. <laughs> Just classic Nike sportswear. I have these in an eight, both of them, they fit true to size. Uh, some of the accessories and details I'll go over. Um, both shoes came with two pairs of laces. The industrial blue pair came with one golden uh, yellow lace, like so. Uh, and then also a pair of white laces laced up. This is a cream lace that I laced up using uh, Foxtrot Uniforms uh, OG styled lace. And then same with the Neptune Green, except the Neptune Green, they gave us more. So it came laced up in a white lace, a cyan or Neptune Green lace, as well as a uh, gray lace as well. And you guys just saw it. It comes with a little keychain, a little metal keychain, which kind of talks more about the the uh, concept of the shoe itself. So it comes with a little keychain right there. This is for the Neptune Green Pair, which was that Korea exclusive. And then the, where is it? And here is the one that came in the industrial blue. It's a little uh, steering wheel. And then just further talking about the details, here is the wrapping paper that went with the industrial blue, which depicts a bus as well as some, um, yeah, just essentially just multiple pictures of buses wheels and um, automobile stuff. And here are the insoles of the industrial blue pair. 
and I'm sure you guys already see the the concept of the shoe itself is bus themed. So this whole pack itself was based around the transportation between Busan and Seoul, the two cultural uh, like epicenters of Korea. And the Neptune Blue Pair, this one is based on the bus route and the freeway to get to Busan and Seoul. Um, I forgot the name of it, but I'll try and put it up somewhere here. Um, but the story is that a young kid grows up in Busan, like sets up shop, but has to go to the bigger city, Seoul, um, in order to reach for other dreams and kind of have like other aspirations and grow bigger. So it's almost like a home versus growing up and then being able to open up a skate shop when coming back home to Busan. So this Neptune green pair also has a cool detail where on the back it says Busan and Seoul. So I think this is a very, very cool detail, very rarely seen. There was supposed to be a third colorway, which was a taxi colorway. I haven't really seen any pictures or any leaks about it, but that was cut very late into production. I think right before samples were made, or maybe samples exist, but it just hasn't leaked. Um, yeah. Also, before I forget, furthermore, the insoles. And if you guys are wondering why I don't really use the insoles, I have my own insoles in there and I just find them more comfortable. Here is the one for the Neptune Green. All right, now that the boxes are out of the way, we can go into the shoes as well as talk about the sort of concept behind it. Here are the shoes themselves. I guess we'll first talk about the Neptune, or not the Neptune, uh, I guess we'll first talk about the industrial blue pair. Uh, as you can see, mine is relatively worn. Um, this is my favorite dunk, essentially. Both of these are my favorite dunks, and I really just, the there's far and few dunks that really get me excited and that remind me of like some old school shit, and these two have been really the standing graces of these past few years. Uh, so La Kashina um, is a skate shop like I mentioned and the term La Kashina can mean two things. It can mean, you know, like are you leaving or are you going somewhere? Um, but it could also mean sort of like a slang for saying like a hey, little miss or something like that. Um, it's not the most polite way of saying miss, um, but it's like sort of like the Busan sort of slang of saying miss. Uh, so you can also see that here, the Kashina logo is, I believe it's of a lady, where it's like the head and then the hair on both sides. Um, but I also think that it can mean like two parts of Korea, where it's like Seoul and Busan coming together. But yeah, uh, super, super clean. Really, really nappy suede all around. The back of the industrial blue pair has Nike. The leather is quite nice. It's a tumbled leather all throughout, quite soft. That's, that's something that's pretty rare in a lot of Nike Dunks is that they usually splurge out on this sort of paneling, but they usually cheapen, especially on like the toe box or the side panel, but they did not cheapen out here. All of the suede is extremely high quality as well as the leather. Uh, you can see that. Um, you can also see that there is a mini swoosh, a nice red mini swoosh that's one of my favorite details. You can also see that the entire tongue is leather as well as it has a raw finish. Right there is also the Kashina logo. I'm not sure if you guys can make that. Yep, there we go. Yeah, and just overall, such a such a sick shoe. It's it's so clean on feet, and this really can go with almost anything. It's just a simple, beautiful, light colorway. And here is that Neptune green. I have yet to wear these just because I 
have been really thoroughly enjoying the industrial blues and I think I may break this out soon. But again, Busan on the back. Amazing, amazing suede and leather all throughout. Suede swoosh, suede toe, suede heel, all that. Got that nice leather as well. Um, I will say that the prices on both of these are kind of high, but if you guys are in the market and instead of buying like four, five, six pairs of, you know, GR Dunks, if you guys want to save up and just grab one pair of really, really, really clean Dunks, I mean, you can't really go wrong with like either of these. Uh, the Neptune green one also features a clear outsole as well, um, which I think would be really, really nice. My only uh, potential issue with clear outsoles is that one it's kind of hard to find uh, a donor to do a sole swap as well as two it will oxidize quite heavy and that's why I, also I haven't worn these at all and now that's how they look so crisp very very simple very let me see if you guys can take note of just how nice that leather and suede is I'll do some close-up shots of these and some on feet. And thank you guys so much again for watching this video. I know it's a pretty quick one, but I wanted to get this out. Um, Cause honestly, I think a lot of people don't even know that this released, um, this was quite a bit ago. And honestly, sometimes we do get kind of like inundated with so many releases, so many upcoming stuff that we forget to like go back and maybe look at some pairs that are like extremely 
wonderful, I would say, and honestly are better than the upcoming releases or better than the current releases right now. And that's how I feel really about both the Kashina Dunks is that these guys are honestly like the the best, the best dunks, just flat out. Um, now, would I say that they're like crazy, crazy, you should pay crazy prices for them? No, but I do think that you can find a pretty decent deal, uh, especially because right now in the current sneaker market, prices are all down and then you should really take advantage of getting those pairs that you wanted way back then for a pretty good price. But yeah, I've had both of these for over a year and a half now. I don't plan on letting them go at all. This industrial blue I wear pretty often in my opinion and I think these are just full stop one of the best dunks just flat out both of these honestly but yeah let me know in the comments which pair do you guys like do you guys have any of the Kashina uh, like, like collaborations I know they've done a few Adidas they've done a superstar they've done a hiker TR if I remember correctly uh, they also have done two Air Maxes I have a pair and so does my wife uh, we both have the um, the pairs that are inspired by the uh, like ducks the wooden ducks that like Korea has, um, but yeah, they have a lot of cool stuff. Like even the Air Maxes with the wooden ducks, those are going for maybe a hundred dollars and the quality of those are probably some of the best that released just full stop in general, like of the past year, basically. Um, the only gripe that I have, this is a side note, is that the shape is a little funky. Um, I wish that they used the same mold that they did for the Pada uh, Air Max ones, but the quality and the concept and the accessory, they all make up for it. So yeah, thank you guys again. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.